What is the Pirate King? And how did you become the Pirate King? Find out today. If you have anything you would like answered in a future episode of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, please comment the topic in the comment section down below, and I will write it down, and I will be sure it will be in a future video. But what the Pirate King is is very vague, because the Pirate King is really just the strongest pirate in the world. So, you can really use the power in many different ways. Luffy, the main character, sees the position of Pirate King, which isn't really even a position, it really is a title, as being the freest man in the world. You're free to do whatever you want, and just go on adventures and have fun with your friends. Some people would see it as the, a demon. But the public, because the government tells them the Pirate King is a demon. He's a monster. He kills. He's murderers. He's a murderer. If someone like Eustace Kid became the Pirate King, I don't doubt he would probably kill a lot of people. With all that freedom and power, yeah, he'd kill a lot of people. But, the better question is, how did you become the Pirate King? Well, let's talk about that. To become the Pirate King, you have to reach the final island in the Grand Line, meaning you must sail through all of Paradise and all of the New World. The final island on the Grand Line is known as Rastel. It is said that Rastel is where Gold Roger left his legendary treasure One Piece. The character that re revealed this in the story is actually a former member of Roger's pirate crew. He was actually the doctor, and he was there when Roger became the Pirate King, from what I understand. Based on the information we have at the moment in the story. So, that would only mean that his information is very accurate. So, it is safe to assume the One Piece does lay, do, does lay at the end of the Grand Line on Rattel. Now, getting to Rattel is no easy task. Rattel is at the end of a new world, and to get to the end of a new world... You would need to get through all four Yonko being Whitebeard, Shanks, Kaido, and Big Mom, the four most powerful pirates to ever live. These are people that are not easily defeated and are big shots in the new world. And pretty much, some of them aren't even interested in the One Piece because they already have enough power as it is. But guys, I hope you enjoyed episode 5 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece. Please like comment and subscribe for more videos and remember above all else guys have a great day